guys, I think while I'm on here, if you don't mind me looking at what I'm doing, it would be a great day to compare foundations and concealers. So that's what I'm going to do. Unfortunately, I can't find my Maybelline Age Rewind, which is really a shame. I, I really like that. It has such a delicate finish. It's like a fluid that's not tacky or anything. And... Um, I don't know if it would actually do do well to cover, you know, age spots and capillaries that have been broken up. So we'll just start with what I have. And I'm going to use the Circle Delete from Jane Airedale on one of the lower spots because this consistency is, is thick. It has a thick consistency, and I don't know if I really want to rub my face in um, with this much pressure. So this is Circle Delete, and I have a feeling that the Healthy Mix is going to be really good for concealing. So it has this kind of applicator. All right, what should we do? This is a good one. So this is the bourgeois. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. And then let's try two chiclet since it, one is sold, what, every three minutes? We'll pen that up. This is a pink base. I don't know why. I gave the whiter base to um, my friend. Okay, so this is the pink base on the big bad one. Ooh, a little goes a long way. Beautiful to work with. But not enough. I don't know if, can I build it up? Let's just let it dry there a little, let it settle. All right, one of my favorites and the MM and L girl favorites. They did find a. Uh, they like Maybelline too, though. Oops, this is a lot. This is the Jane Airedale Active Light, and oh, we'll put it right here. Okay. Nice. It goes on smooth. Feels really good. All right, let's work on the... Nope. Hmm. Well, let's... Let's dab it on a little of this. This is just a joy to work with. No. Holy mackerel, you should really see my face. Okay. Moving right along, we have a Miss Gold Girl favorite. I think she's moved on to Rimmel. Um, let's just try this area. Ah, oh, a delight. The rollerball feels really good on inflamed skin. Nice. We'll get this pink area. Pretty good. I like it. Wow. Okay. As we can see, nothing's quite doing the job like active light. But I am pleased with Garnier, and Garnier, pardon me, and usually I'm not. For some reason, I didn't like it. Let's try Bourgeois Healthy Mix in a pen. Okay. I don't know.
Are we having fun? This has been five minutes. I don't know if um, you want to stick with me for the foundations. <laughs> well, let's see. I don't like heavy foundations, so we'll try the Giorgio Armani right here. Oh my goodness. Okay, I like Maybelline. Dream. The nude airbrush, it comes out like this. It looks dewy on. It dries to like a powder. And mind you, these this is pretty. Um, these are pretty se severe markings. I've never had. Um, this must be what it's like to have um, acne. Ooh, we'll do the Jane Airedale. Nice red right here. And don't worry. Even if I didn't have blemishes per se growing up, I had eczema, which was just awful. It was like in my um, joints, like in my arms or behind my knees. I don't think using your fingers is probably the way to do some kind of experiment like this. But I'll tell you, the Jane Airedale makes me, doesn't cover up the red. Um, the Maybelline covered up the red the most. The Giorgio Mani did not. What else do we have? You know what would? These BB creams. And we'll do this again too because I wish I had Skin 79. Meredith likes it and so does Dustin Hunter. And Mishka. I didn't pick up the Mishka but I picked up what the girl used at the Korean grocery store. So this is the Beauty Bomb. I don't know. Okay. Wow, this is too much makeup for the cause, guys. I'm going to stop, and I hope you enjoyed. Hi, guys. I'm back. Why stop now, right? I'm going to use some Bobbi Brown Repair. It has a yellow base to it. This is beige number three. Covers the pores good. I've noticed I've had a ton of pores, so I'm going to wash all this off right away. I usually just have pores here and here to worry about. Um, mm. Alright, here's the cover FX. This was sold to me to cover rosacea and whatnot, so it better cover something. What should we use? Okay, there's red over here always. I have to work on this lighting too. Nice. Yeah, I have to say, <coughs> I like, oh, the, um, it's fine. The cover FX, it's doing, it's doing a, the job here. Uh, this is Intervene from Elizabeth Arden. This has a nice finish. Okay, what area is, all right, here's some redness. Oh, this is gross. It's getting in my hair. Nice. Intervene's nice. Um, True Identity from Boots. There we go. 
go. No, this goes on nice and smooth. Yep, nice. Does a good job. And finally, the BB. Where can I use this? I must... Oh, look at the pores on my nose. I must say... Oh, this is nice. The, um... I already forgot my thought. Mm, never mind. Yeah, this... This is good. Okay. And anyways, this is a very unscientific... I do like the cover effects... I do like the boots. I don't know about the coverage, though, for the boots. It just feels good on minor redness. And, yeah, the cover FX is, is standing out. I hope this was educational. Thank you for watching.